Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. Fun fact, the bachelorette Jen Tran competitively trained as a pianist for 12 years. She shared that on Monday's Soul Train Night episode of Dancing with the Stars, before performing a steamy Viennese waltz to Fallen by Alicia Keys with her pro partner, Sasha Faber. Learning piano was such a big part of my life, so to be able to dance to such a beautiful piece is going to touch a special place in my heart, said Tran, a University of Wisconsin-Madison alum. Following the performance, Judge Bruno Tonioli called Tran a vixen and her Viennese waltz with Faber, one of the sexiest he's ever seen. That was sexy, I mean really, Judge Carrie Aninaba said. I bring that up because you guys have some chemistry going on that's really making this dance come to life. You were outstanding. Guest judge Rosie Perez, who was a dancer on Soul Train, loved the performance and described it as hot, fly, and all that. Judge Derek Hov lauded Tran for fixing her frame after his previous feedback on it and said it was his favorite part of the dance. Keep doing what you're doing, he said. Beautiful job. Tran and Faber received a score of 31 out of 40, with an 8 from Inaba, an 8 from Paris, a 7 from Derek, and an 8 from Tonioli. Those were Tran's first 8s of the season, co-host Julianne Huff noted, and that score landed the duo in third place on the leaderboard for the night. I'm speechless, absolutely speechless, Tran said. I have you to thank for it, Tran told her partner. Since there was no DWTS last week, Due to the vice presidential debate, there will be a second new episode this week on Tuesday. Viewer votes from both nights of competition will be combined with the judges' scores from both nights to determine which couples may be in jeopardy of elimination on Tuesday, October 8, the network said in a news release. Who was eliminated on Dancing with the Stars Monday? No one. But there will be a double elimination on Tuesday night's episode. Just like on Monday night. Fans will be able to vote during the broadcast of the show Tuesday in the ET slash CT time zones, according to ABC. During that time, online voting will be available to fans in any time zone in the US, its territories, and Canada via dotsvote.ac.com. Fans on participating US wireless carriers can also vote via SMS slash text. How to watch Dancing with the Stars Season 33. The show is simulcast across both ABC and Disney, plus at 7 p.m. CT Tuesdays. It's available the next day on Hulu. This article originally appeared on Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, Dancing with the Stars Week 3, Jen Tran, Ilona Maha, Joey Grazier Lee. Dancing with the Stars brings funk, bougie, and a bold backflip to the ballroom with Soul Train-themed episode, Beep Beep. On Monday night, Dancing with the Stars paid tribute to a groundbreaking variety show that revolutionized music, dance and style for generations, Soul Train. For over 35 years, Soul Train earned its place as one of the longest-running nationally syndicated TV shows in American history, catapulting R and B, soul, and hip-hop into the mainstream. At its peak, Soul Train was the beating heart of black culture, choreographer Randy Connor told Yahoo Entertainment. Soul Train gave an in-depth look into American pop culture and gave us a realistic understanding of our roots, said Connor, whose credits include the music videos for Salt and Pepper's 1993 hits, None of Your Business, and What a Man, featuring En Vogue, as well as Britney Spears's 1998 debut single, Baby One More Time. Created by Don Cornelius, Soul Train provided a stage for musicians, dancers, and choreographers to shine. Its iconic Soul Train line, packed with popping, locking, and grooving, became a cultural sensation at a time when few television shows celebrated black artistry on a grand scale. Moves like The Funky Chicken, The Bump, The Snake Step, and The Roger Rabbit, Connor explained, changed the landscape of American dance. Back then, hip hop, was just breaking into the mainstream, said Connor. Soul Train laid the foundation for where we are today in music, whether it's pop, R&B, or even Afrobeats. The spirit of Soul Train was evident in performances on dance.
Your musicality was there, your rhythm was there, and your passion was there, guest judge Rosy Perez said of Kinney's performance. The only critique that I want to say to you, young girl, is let your sexuality explode. Fadra Parks and her partner Valch Makoski kicked off the night with a high-energy quickstep to Aretha Franklin's Think, with Paris praising the real housewives of Atlanta Star's talent. People can be taught how to dance, but people cannot be taught how to bougie, and you know how to booty, Paris said. Meanwhile, Joey Grazia D impressed the judges with a dynamic jive to shout by the Isley brothers, wooing with a flawless backflip. Perez, particularly taken by his performance, said, Your sex appeal is amazing, as he and partner Jenna Johnson received the first nines of the season from both her and Carrie Ann Inaba. Tied at 30, respectively, were Olympians Ilona Maher and Stephen Nedorostik, each showing off their athleticism with their routines. Maher's foxtrot to Lady Marmalade by LaBelle with pro Alan Burston earned praise from Inaba, who exclaimed, Say goodbye to rugby, girl, because dancing is coming your way. Eric Roberts had a particularly heartfelt moment when he dedicated his foxtrot to Let's Stay Together by Al Green to his wife Eliza, bringing her on stage for a tender kiss at the end of the routine. I am so proud that I am still here for my wife, he told the judges. Sparks flew between model Brooks Nader and probe Leb Savchenko, during their steamy rumba to Marvin Gaye's sexual healing. Their chemistry was so hot that Judge Derek Hoff joked, that dance made me pregnant, to the audience's delight. Of the Soul Train theme, Connor said that the show's energy was exactly what he expected. At its heart, Soul Train is a celebration that frees both mind and body, he said. It all starts with the music, Connor explained, and from there, the freedom to express yourself follows. The spirit of expression was seen in performances like Jen Tran's Viennese Waltz to Alicia Keys's Fallen with partner Sasha Faber. Judge Bruno Tonioli said their rendition was the raunchiest, sexiest, hottest Viennese Waltz I've ever seen. None all contestants had smooth performances, though. Former NBA star Dwight Howard and partner Daniela Karagach found themselves in the bottom three after the under rehearsed catcher to Let's Groove by Earth wind and fire. Inaba didn't mince words, telling them, that was hard to watch. Tonioli added, you gotta work on your technique. Danny Amendola and partner Whitney Carson scored an admirable 30 for their foxtrot to Dancing Machine by the Jackson 5, while Reginald Vell Johnson and Emma Slater received the night's lowest score of 21 for their foxtrot to Johnny Nash's I Can See Clearly Now. Despite the low score, Inaba praised Vel Johnson's spirit. There's something so sweet and innocent when you dance, she told the die-hard actor. I wish I could give you tens and tens just for getting out there and showing us that kind of beautiful joy. Connor, whose upcoming podcast, The Real Life of Dance delves into the art and craft of choreography, told Yahoo Entertainment that the spirit of dance is about far more than hitting the lines perfectly. It's about embracing the joy energy and freedom that Soul Train embodied for generations. Dance isn't just about mastering the steps, he explained. You need to let the music move through you to celebrate your individuality. Soul Train taught us that, and it's a legacy that lives on every time someone steps onto the dance floor. Dancing with the Stars returns for its Hair Metal episode Tuesday on ABC at 8pm ET, with two couples being sent home in a double elimination.